friends just had a baby rod. I'd like to give us something thoughtful. I know. I might make us something practical. That shows thought, doesn't it? Yeah. Now, quite a few of my friends have been giving birth recently and it occurred to me how much work there is involved with having a baby, not least the laundry, which got me thinking that maybe a wipe clean bib would be a nice idea. Uh, don't get me wrong, I know it's not my original idea, but I did think it can't be that hard to make. So I thought, right, what's wipe clean? Oil cloth. So you'll need oil cloth. Uh, you'll also need some bias binding, mm, my favourite. Uh, some Velcro dots just for keeping it closed. A little button for accessorising. Uh, and also some pins, scissors, and thread to match the bias binding. That's it. Now, if you head to Sequins and Slippers, my website, you can find the template for this bib. So it's really straightforward. All you do is print off the bib template and then put the template onto the oil cloth you bought and draw around the template. Now granted I'm doing this freehand, if you want it to be a bit more steady and you don't want to use your own hand to hold it in place while you're doing this then you could use double sided sticky tape. Now the great thing about that is that actually when you're cutting the oil cloth later it will come off as in the paper, the template, everything will come off it and all you'll be left with is the oil cloth. And then, when you've got that shape, you then just want to put the bias binding all the way around the edging. So first, attach the bias binding, like the polka dot, I like it too, very Spanish. Uh, put the bias binding around the edging of that template so that it sits and very neatly onto the oil cloth. You also want the Velcro dots, now, just place them where you know it closes shut. It's not rocket science. They are adhesive. Yes, they do have an adhesive back. But you see what's happening here is that if you don't actually sew it down as well, it'll just come off when you pull it off or more likely when baby rags it off. So it's a good idea to put a few stitches through it as well just so it's secure. And then to cover the stitches on the outside of the oil cloth, it's the only place that you'll see when it's closed, put a decorative button. I know, very masculine. Uh, I'm sure there's a blue one somewhere in me, button stash. Anyway, it's obviously for a girl. <laughs> so all that's left to do with this is sew the bias binding onto the oil cloth, which of course you can do by hand or by machine. I like to do it by the machine but just because it's a really very quick, quick, easy way and lovely finish to it. But if you're good at doing it by hand, then um, I've got quite a relaxing suggestion for you. So I'm gonna finish mine here you might want to try this. Now, as far as projects go, this is a really nice one for just getting a cup of herbal tea, putting some classical music on, sitting by an open window, maybe listening to the birds singing, put a little candle on, you know, just enjoy the scents and the whole experience of sewing and... So the great thing about this project is you can just relax, it's kind of very low maintenance, get yourself a cup of herbal tea, maybe put a scented candle on, and is that a plane? Oh, Now the great thing about this is you can just take your time, it's not really much concentration needed, just make yourself a cup of herbal tea, relax, put some classical music on, and. Rod, what are you chewing? Roddy, come here! Come here! Roddy! Now look, <clears throat> before I get interrupted by a plane flying over, Rod chewing something through like a wire or something, or pricking myself again, I just want to say this is a really easy project to do. You might want to concentrate a bit more than I was kind of insinuating, but I think you'll enjoy it. Good luck, let me know how you get on.